Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about fashion, beauty, and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, in today's video, it is going to be an exciting one. But it's also going to be a weird one. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new KKW fragrance called the Opals. Now, these haven't been released. They will be released on the 18th. But KKW fragrance are doing something new that I haven't seen. And when I saw that, I was like, I need to get my hands on it first hand. Because I always buy her, her bottles. I always blind buy her perfumes. And for the most part, they're all really, really good. But um, yeah, I have the Opal samples right here. Like I said, I always blind buy her, her bundle. And her bundle is $120 when you buy all three. So I'm excited. This is the first time I'm trying the samples before I actually buy the product and wait for it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I feel weird because I always have the, the whole package and the bottle. So today we just have a little, the little samples. But that's all right. So yeah, we have the little samples right here. We have three of them. And they come in this little cute packaging. This was $5. I ended up paying like $12 total with like taxes and shipping. So I think this is a really good idea. So if you don't want to buy the whole bundle or you don't know which one to get, uh, you can always get this. And I think this is really, really effective. And I think it's a really, really good idea. So all right. So the first one that I'm going to review is called Opal Mood. And it has top notes of bergamot oil. Starfruit Delight, Melon Dew, and Golden Currents. The heart notes are Jasmine Absolute Au Pur, Fresh Freesia, Honeysuckle Nectar, and Karma Floor. And the base notes are White Amber, Sandalwood, Silk Musk, Cedar Wood Au Pur. So I'm guessing this is going to be like a fruity perfume. We'll find out. I really do. I've, I've always said this a couple of times, a lot of times. I love KKW's perfumes. Her fragrances are really, really good. So, all right. So, I'm going to spray this one right here. And we're going to see what this one smells like. And again, this is Opal Mood. All right. Here we go. <laughs> all right. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit more because I feel like I smell like that strong alcohol scent. All right. Here we go. Hmm. All right, so this is a really interesting scent. It's not a bad scent, but it's not something that I'm just like, whoa, like an, an initial whoa. Okay, so this to me leans a little bit more towards like a masculine scent. It's very lemony, it's very bergamot-ish, but it is really nice and pretty. It is very, very fruity. I feel like this one's a little bit more on the fruity side it does smell like mangoes i do smell the freesia on this i don't know i feel like this is a very fresh and fruity perfume it's uh it's nice don't get me wrong i don't hate it but i don't love it love it love it but it is a really nice perfume i don't know why but i feel like i've smelled this perfume before like i feel like the scent is very familiar to something else that i can't quite put my finger on but it is a very unisex scent, you guys. It's fresh, it's clean, but it's also very fruity. It's not tropical, but it is fruity. Like, I can smell, like, fruits, like a mango, like a fresh mango, fresh apples. It's just very, like, that. But it's just very, I don't know, fresh, clean, fruity. It's definitely not sweet. It's definitely not, like, in the, in the sweet world or gourmand-ish world. It's leaning more towards, like, fresh clean lemony um also very woodsy it's very like outdoor ish and it's a nice perfume but it's not something that i'm instantly attracted to would i have liked this perfume if i buy the bundle i'm gonna say yes i would probably wear this but i don't think this is something that i would constantly buy 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 if this helps this kind of reminds me of the moschino fresh couture perfume it's kind of like very that very fresh clean and fruity i like it it's not bad but i don't know i, I mean i guess it is a, a really nice scent so if you are into fresh clean but fruity perfumes you're going to like that one and this one is opal mood all right you guys moving on to the next 
next one so the next one that i'm gonna try out is called opal drip and this one has top notes of citrus cocktail dewy greens and lavender the middle notes are tagetti sheer jasmine and water lily and the base notes are sugar amber oak moss and musk so this is described as a gourmand woody perfume now I am really intrigued with this one because I do love gourmand perfumes. So I'm gonna spray this one on this hand. And we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best. You guys, when you spray perfumes or you're trying them out, I don't like when people put them on here because it's not gonna smell the same if you spray it here than in your hand. You're not gonna wear the perfume on a piece of cardboard. Or when people do this, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Alright, so let's. I can smell it in the air. I think I'm gonna like this one. Okay, this one's a lot better. This one's so, so much better. Wow. Okay, you guys, this is gonna sound a little bit funny, a little bit weird, but this one kind of reminds me of a pool. Like, if you ever went out to like Six Flags and jumped in a pool, or you can smell the pool and the sun, I know that sounds weird, but I can smell like a pool, like, the water of the pool and soaking up the sun it's also very sweet it's like a nice sweet perfume but it's not like overpowering sweet this one's really nice i don't know you guys this one's a little bit hard to describe but it is a really nice perfume i think this is probably the sweetest one from all three i'm not sure yet but it's definitely sweeter than the first one this one's still also very like an outdoor-ish type of perfume it smells like like if you concentrate on the scent and i know people are not just gonna concentrate on the scent but i feel like when you concentrate on the scent uh, on the scent it kind of gives me like a woody type of notes like like if you're outside and there's like a bonfire and you can smell a little bit of the wood from that bonfire it doesn't smell quite dark like fire or wood on fire but like when you smell the wood like burning wood it kind of gives me that little hint but it's don't get me wrong it's not woodsy like that even though it has notes of um oak moss maybe that's where it comes from because i feel like it's just very very like that very fiery or <sighs> this one's a little bit complicated it's it's really nice and sweet but it's also very like outdoor ish like woodsy or maybe it's just uh the musk in this perfume i can also smell the sugar amber which i feel like that's probably where the sweetness comes from from the sugar amber it's really really nice and pretty you guys i really really like this one i think this is so far my favorite one it's really nice it's something different i don't think i've ever smelled something like this I, again at first i feel like it smelled like an open pool like you can smell the water of the pool and then it starts to dry down to that dark woodsy uh musky uh sugary sweet perfume and i like it this to me feels like a fun perfume like something fun that you would wear to go out to like the club or like the movies the first one's a little bit more like maybe like dinner dates this one's a little bit more like a fun type of perfume and i like it i really really like it i feel like this is more of a summertime perfume but it's really really good i really like this one so yeah you guys if you like sweet perfumes woody and musky perfumes with a little bit of like amber in there you're gonna like this one and i absolutely absolutely love this one all right you guys moving on to the last one so the last one's called opal energy and this one's described as a floral woody perfume all right so this one has top notes of lemon oil or pearl ginger extracts and pear anjo the middle notes are tuberose orange flower and muguette and the base notes are sandalwood or pearl patchouli or pearl cedarwood or pearl and vanilla musk okay so it's a floral woody perfume but i'm getting sweet perfume We'll see. I'm all for sweet floral perfumes though. So I'm gonna spray this one here. We're gonna, hopefully this one's good. So far, I like them both, but I like this sweet one better. The drip one is probably my favorite one so far. Yeah, definitely it's a really, really nice perfume. All right, so let me take the first sniff on this one. Okay, this one's interesting. <laughs> okay this one is to me straight up 
tuberose. This one smells like a very strong tuberose perfume. Okay, you guys, yeah, this is like to me, to my nose, it's literally straight up tuberose. That's literally all I can smell right now. Maybe if I let it dry down a little bit more, but right now I'm getting nothing but a strong tuberose, a strong jasmine, uh, the patchouli. Not that this is a bad scent, but it's probably my least favorite one. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, like, oh, this is a nasty scent. No, I'm saying that in the way that this is not my type of perfume, you know? I'm a gourmand type of person. A gourmand type of person is not going to like something very, very floral. So, this is one of those perfumes. It's very, very floral. It smells like rose petals, but more like jasmines and tuberose. So, if you like her crystal gardenia the original one you're gonna like this one if you like the one that she came out with her mom you're also gonna like this one it also smells very much like the red lips it's very floral very two rows this one also reminds me a lot of the white diamond that she came out with her sister it smells very like that i gotta say this one's a little bit more pretty though this one's a little bit more sweet than the other ones i feel like this one okay once it's drying down a little bit more on my skin i think i'm liking it a little bit more but i do feel like the the two rows and the jasmine and the patchouli take over so much but i smell a lot of the two rows i'm not the biggest fan of tuberose like i've said i'm not the biggest fan of tuberose and amber perfumes i feel like those perfumes are so 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 strong but this one's nice so if you're into tuberose perfumes with a little bit of sweetness and i think the vanilla in here is what gives it that nice touch of sweetness and i like it but it's not something that i would constantly buy over and over again but it is a nice perfume if you're not like a big fan of two rows you're not gonna like this one or if you're not a floral type of person you're not gonna like this one because this one is literally the floral sister of these three perfumes and i gotta say it's not bad it's really not bad if i would have bought the bundle and i got the bundle i probably would have went through the whole perfume but i don't think it's something that i would purchase again only because I'm not a floral type of person. Like, I do like a little floral here and there. But this one's just very, very strong in the floral notes. Which, is, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just not my type of scent. But yeah, you guys, if you're into floral perfumes with a little bit of sweetness in it, you're gonna like this one. And this one's called Opal Energy. So, yeah, you guys, final thoughts. I gotta say, Drip is probably my favorite one. I think this is probably the only one that I'm gonna get on the 18th. Hey guys! Okay, so, hi, future me, right? I was editing the video and it has been about two hours since I filmed the video. I gotta say, this last perfume, Opal Energy, has dried down on my skin completely and I gotta say, it smells so, so freaking good. At first, it was so strong with the tuberos. It was very floral, but now it's like very nice and sweet. It's like still very floral and very tuberos, but I feel like the tuberos calmed down quite a lot and it's this really nice oh it's a really nice creamy sweet scent it's very nice and floral and i gotta say it's probably my favorite one i know i said drip was my favorite one but i i have to say energy is definitely my favorite one drip would be my second favorite one and the other one is my least favorite one i guess you can say yes and i just had to make that because i'm like wait i kind of sound like i don't really like it it's like i said it wasn't a bad scent but now i really 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 like this perfume you guys it's really good it's really sweet creamy but yet very nice and floral so if you are into floral and sweet perfumes thumbs up because i actually really do like it so i just wanted to hop in here really quick and let you guys know that so yeah <laughs> because it's really really nice and sweet and gourmandish and woodsy i like that the first one opal mood i don't know i feel like it's also not my type of scent not my type of cup of tea but it is a really nice perfume. That is pretty much it for the KKW Fragrance Opal Collection. I gotta say, I really do like uh, Kim Kardashian's perfumes. I think she's gotten so much better. Her uh, bottles are so cute. I literally have every single one of her perfumes that she's ever come out with with the exception of two or three when she first started releasing perfumes. And yeah, so 
I hope that my opinions and the description of these perfumes convince you to buy one, two, or the whole collection. I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna buy the, the drip one because that one was my favorite one. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this review. And if you guys liked it, please give this video a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that it was helpful. And yeah, let me know which one are you interested in. Which one is catching your attention a little bit more. So yeah, you guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Edgar O. And I'm obsessed with perfumes and everything in the fashionable world. So if you're into that, stick around. Click that subscribe button because I would love to have you part of my perfume uh, world. But alright, you guys, I can't wait till we gossip on our next one. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye.